profile management on PPC Ninja a must know. Hello there, welcome to this video. If you are looking to master PPC Ninja, you've come to the right place. But before we dive in, could you do me a favor? Please hit that subscribe button and give this video a like. It really supports my channel and ensures you won't miss any of my future content. And guess what? I have an exciting recommendation for you. If you're interested in trying out PPC Ninja, the software that I'm using in my seven figure Amazon FBA business, they're offering a free 14 day trial. Yes, you hear that right, a full two weeks to explore and experience the power of PPC Ninja at no cost. Just check out the link in the description below of this video. Now let's get started with the video. Enjoy. So uh, we, I'm just going to move us into the back end and kind of start in the manage profile section. So we have a few options back here. Um, you'll see that we have a target level ACOS and we have a branded target, uh, branded target ACOS. So this is for your brand name and for your overall account. So like when you log into the advertising console, um, before you go through and kind of start cleaning up your data, you see the ACOS at the very top. Uh, yeah. That's what this target level ACOS is. So this is a value that you can just set to whatever. And our bid engine is going to, if you don't put in a value, that is what our bid engine is going to start optimizing your entire account towards. Um, we also have the branded target level ACOS. But so, you have to approve the changes, right? It's not that it's done for you, right? It's not automated. So there is some auto. So uh, actually right here, you can see there is an auto accept bids. And right now it's turned off. But uh, if you want to turn on our bid engine, all you have to do is come in. Okay. You come in here, you hit this enable button, and then the bid engine will start to run. And then you don't have okay. to worry about your bids anymore. Um, yes. Typically, if you're a new customer to PPC Ninja, we say um, run it manually for, we say, 30 days. And just come in here and check the recommendations that the bid engine is producing. And um, you'll be able to make changes to them, whether you agree with them or disagree with them. And we say run this engine for 30 days. And we do that just to, just to build trust. You know, like we yeah. use it um, for our major clients and we turn on the bid engine because uh, the bid engine is really good at moni monitoring all the bids because we scale. And so with the bid engine, it takes care of all of the day to day kind of things. And then you can go looking for the outlier problems that do happen within running a PPC, a large PPC account. Um, okay. But just going back to the branded level ACOS. So within the software, we actually have multi-level target ACOS settings. And so what this is, is this is kind of a hierarchy of controls. And so at the very bottom, we have the account level target ACOS, which would be you know that number when you log into the advertising console, that's what you see. And then we can do uh, ACOS by SKU. So you, this is a one-time setup. You can change it if you want. You can come into the back end here. Each individual product can have their own um, SKU level target ACOS. So you set that one time, and then our bid engine will pick up that. And it's going to start to optimize all of the campaigns associated with that SKU to that target level ACOS. The next, we have uh, campaign level target ACOS. So this supersedes your SKU and your default level. And what this does is this allows us to have ranking campaigns because um, there are keywords that are more important for you. And so if you're okay with having a higher ACOS for some of those ranking campaigns, uh, yeah. you can do that through the software here. So you can say, you know, I want my product wow. to be 30%, but this keyword is important to me. I'm willing to spend a little more money. I wanna try and create some sales velocity. I'm cool with 50%, 60%, whatever you're comfortable with. Wow, I didn't know it's possible. I yeah, so learned it, a lot of it gives you that higher level of control because you know when we do want to rank on those keywords, it yeah. and we're saying you know you make a business decision, you say okay, I'm I'm okay spending more money here. I'm okay with the lower <clears> conversion. Those organic rate. sales. Yeah. yeah, exactly right to try and move up the ranks, and so then you can track your tacos and you can kind of see is this ranking campaign actually doing what it's supposed to do wow, and man. then it and then at the very highest level we have our uh branded keyword target so these so we say that um because if customers are searching you for you by brand name then you should be able to convert at a lower level and so lower we, ACOS for sure yeah and so we let you put in a lower level branded keyword target ACOS in the back end setting here 
and it can be lower than everything else. And our bid engine will pick up the seed keyword and it will optimize all of those keywords to that level as well. So that is our uh, multi-level targeting ACOS. So when I talk about the brand, uh, the branded target ACOS, that's where you set that right here. Um, the target, the account level is right here. 